Hi there, welcome to this unboxing. Um, this is for the brand spanking new family edition of Agricola. Um, this is for the younger ones that we're trying to get. I mean, I guess anybody can play this, can't they, really? An excellent ball game guru in the UK. Um, but Sammy loves playing Agricola. He plays it on the tablet. And we ha do play the family game of Agricola with him without the cards. But this is a specifically different Agricola board game. And um, it's a small little, little edition. That's, that's quite nice, that. That's quite neat. Um, I expected it to be the same size box, to be honest. But look, it's this very small little box. Um, look, here's the, uh, the newer version of Agric. And uh, quite a difference, isn't there? So uh, that's just a show. So let's have a look at this. Quite excited for this. I mean, we were going to play it today, but we had too much on. Um, and uh, school holiday, so Sammy and Katie want to play in on this tomorrow. So it says family edition, simple rules, and a strong theme make this game easily accessible to everybody. So let's dive in. Let's see what we get in the family edition of Agricola. I already know there's no cards in here, which of course the younger one, Sammy's eight now, nearly nine. The younger ones struggle with the cards, so um, this should be a good fit. So look, so it plays one to four players, so you can play it solo in about 45 minutes. And eight plus, so right in the wheelhouse for the for Sammy and Katie. Lots of nice wooden bits. Um, I'm quite pleased they've actually got some nice colours here, which are more kid friendly, I would say, because we've got the nice sky blue. Um, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five of each. So same. Uh, pink, which is nice, taking into account the girly colours, I guess. Uh, orange, my favourite colour. And green. So good, some nice uh, meeples there. And then we got our um, reed, that will be the start player. Uh, some nice wood tokens. Uh, grain, some stables here. Now interestingly, these stables are not in the separate colours. But nevertheless, I'm sure they're going to work the same way. I think points are simplified in this as well, and it's points for everything. I think, I think you get three points for every family member, and I think you just start out with a mum and dad, but you can have babies. But uh, I think you get... Three points for those, but then I think everything else is a point. So there's the clay, uh, yeah, the wood, the grain, and the um, reed. Some baggies there, quite a lot as well. Oh look, and then we've got our farm meeples here. And um, we've got the cows, cattle. We've got the pigs, boar, and uh, sheep. So that's been streamlined down a bit. There we go. So look in the box still. So a lot of a lot of bit of wooden pieces there, isn't there? Well, there's a cow. So here's the rules. Now, interestingly enough, I did look online, and there's no rules online that I could find anyway. Um, good old Dewey Rosenberg there giving some little tips and hints. Uh, so no cards at all. An interesting board layout by the looks of it, with the action spaces, um, and no fences in this neither. So I'm really interested to see. It looks a great board, doesn't it? It's got got the jigsaw pieces again, like we've seen in the newer Agricola. There we go. Can't wait really to see what the kids think of this. Um, I, I just got a feeling with the pedigree it's going to be fantastic just for the, for, those, for them. Get into this, oh, there we go. Let's have a look, move these over, sort them out properly in a bit. So here's the punch board sheets. They look very familiar, slightly different artwork on some of them. Oh, look, we've got double ones now. Playrooms and uh, wooden huts. 
these must be the pastures already fenced off and uh, it's showing you that it can keep four in there and uh, is that it costs five wood I would guess to build which uh, normally it would only cost four wood to fence to fence um, no it wouldn't it would cost one two three four six wouldn't it six wood for a double pasture um, but you can keep four animals in there so there we go some food tokens there multiplier tokens plenty of food bigger pastures these uh, action spots I guess and uh, multipliers for food more of these pastures there's a cock there I'm not sure what he's going to do uh, begging rather than the begging car has got these begging tokens more pastures, more begging tokens, more multipliers and uh, these are going to act also as fields quite a lot of punch board sheets here and uh, let's just take this out that's just waste and let's see so ah okay there's already a piece on. that's nice isn't it really really nice Uwe Rosenberg or is it it's Uwe isn't it Uwe Rosenberg um, it's a nice touch uh, so that's the game board so for solo we have this piece here it's a small dinky little game board isn't it um, for two player we're there and then of course there we go three player and finally four player which I guess is what we're going to play tomorrow um, it looks really interesting doesn't it so I guess these spots are going to open. We've got these spots here that are going to be permanently open. Yep. And then we've got, I would think it's going to be these rounds, isn't it? Are going, to, are going to come along the path with a marker. Maybe with this, maybe with that little marker, or if that is the start player, or the cock is going to move along or something. Oh no, look, look, you can see the pawns there. The pawn's going to move along, along the path and open up these spots each round. Some more places to go. How ingenious. I think it's going to be really, really good. Oh, the, the cockerel's there. Yeah, we'll have to read what he does. So, yeah, looks really good, doesn't it? It's a Gricola family edition. Uh, really can't wait to see how that plays. Thanks for watching.